Tim Reed, thank you so much for agreeing to speak with USA Today. My pleasure. Listen, this is a conversation I've been wanting to have for an awful long time. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> At least since 2008 when Barack Obama was elected president. Mm -hmm. And there was this talk about a post-racial era. Yeah. How are we yeah. doing? Uh, not so well. Uh, we, we're more in the post. And we <laughs> 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 it seems like we're back to the future. Mm -hmm. uh, I had hoped, as many people uh, felt, that incredible sense of euphoria for what had happened history being made, that the world would lean towards um, improvement, that the world would lead towards creating a new paradigm, uh, both racially and both economically. And yet, a group of men met in a room that, that same night of the inauguration, and, and they decided to destroy hope, and they've actually uh, achieved their goals. We are full of fear. But we talk so much about controlling images. Yeah. Uh, we ought to be able to control our own image. We've got a president in the, in the White House. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've got to first want to. You've got to have a purpose. And I think that we got caught up in this sort of euphoric uh, attitude that it had arrived. Uh, we are the people we've been waiting for. But we forgot we had to do the work. And I think the uh, people who understand the power of propaganda went to work. And they did an incredible job, uh, not since Nazi Germany has propaganda been used to change the mindset of people as it has been in the last six years. They literally have used lies and innuendos and, 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 and created a sense of fear in the people when there was really, not there wasn't any cause, it's just that we were, the, we were at the frontier of changing things. Change was about to happen. We're entering truly the 21st century and yet everybody wanted to go back. Listen to the words of some of them. We want things like they were. We want to go back. Well, the things were so good back then, when they were back then, if they'd done the right thing, we wouldn't be where we are you now. You made a presentation earlier today when you talked about the importance of the word. The word is, is very powerful. And they have used the words <clears throat> against not only the president, but against the people. Voting rights uh, laws are being overturned. We're dealing with issues that we thought were long gone. And, and these battles are played out and lost in media? In media. The power of the media, it's the most powerful man-made force on this planet. And it is used to sway opinion. We live in a world of perception, no longer reality. And Aldous Huxley said that way back in a book called A Brave New World. He said he feared that we'd be a time when perception would rule reality, and we're there. If you know that, why don't the Tim Reeds of the world change it? Well, some of the Tim Reeds of the world are trying to, and it's a, it's a, but the business has changed. I mean, the paradigms have shifted so quickly. Uh, five years ago, there was no such word as an iPad, and now there are millions of them, and, and people are, uh, are writing content for them. The business has changed, and technology is so far ahead of the human condition that by the time you decide that you're going to make something for television, people are looking at stuff on a, on a smartphone. New delivery system. New delivery system. So you have to keep pace. And I think that we got caught in, in, the, in the shadows. We, we spent a lot of time <clears throat> thinking, okay, it's been done. We have these things. Things are going to change. And we forgot to do the work. And I think the work is to make sure your culture is in pace, at, 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 up to pace with the changing dynamics of the world. A lot said about problems. Talk a bit about solutions. Solution is to get control of your image, get control of your story. It's time that the lion tells his side. The hunter has been speaking now for, for six years. It's time for the lion to speak up. I don't care about the outcome, but I care about the fair battle. And right now, we're not battling, I think, uh, in this world of perception with, with the kind of uh, passion and, and skills that we need. We're still dealing with things in the, in the 20th century. We're in the 21st century. There's some things we should just go, as, as the president being to brush it off. It has no power unless you give it power, the power of the word. So we need to control the word. And I don't think enough of us are, <coughs> are passionate enough about that. We need to change. We need to rewrite our story. And we do it in telling stories. We do it in newspaper articles, blogging. Why is it that John Stewart, Bill Maher, are the voices of wit and reason? Where are the others? I, I don't, where are they? Where are the black Will Rogers? Where is the black Richard Pryor? today, telling the sort of stories and, and relating to culture in a way that is thought-provoking. Most of the stuff we hear is victimization stories. 
So I'm hoping that I'll be a part of the change. I'm working with young people through my institute, the Legacy Media Institute, to get them to understand the responsibility of, of images and how to use it and get your propaganda out there so that you can compete. Right now, we're not competing. But ultimately, the solution can be found within the race. Oh, of course. That's the only solution is within. You're never going to... Why would the controlling power yield? What, what did uh, Frederick Douglass say? Power yields, yields nothing without a demand. <laughs> without demand. It never did. And it never will. So we need to create our demand, our demand, not what some 20th century demand uh, puts out. We're in the 21st century. We need a new, new paradigm and we need new leadership. Not leaders in terms of politicians, leaders in terms of people telling their story, protecting their culture, whatever culture that may be. And we don't have enough of them. Tim Reed, thank you very much for being my guest with the USA Today. Thank you, and I'm leaving the country. <laughs> <laughs> Good to be with you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Stand by, Regina. Um, I just want you to, I, I wrote down three questions that I want him to just say on a single shot. Okay. Okay? It's Courtney, single shot of Tim Reed. Mr. Reed. Uh -huh. And the, the first one is, if you know that, why don't the Tim Reeds of the world change it? Do you want me to answer? I don't uh, know. Not really. Okay, okay. Because then we're going to cut. Thank you. Oh, no, I appreciate that. Do you want me? Just, just <laughs> him. Single just shot. Right. And, and, and you got to have look room. Okay? Get him out the I shot. I have shoulder, look room. Though. Toka? Toka, what's that? your name? That's better. A little bit tighter. Let me go. That's about this 16.9. Sort of weird these days. Sorry, sir. Is it you or we? Hmm. Is it, did I say it's you or we? Uh, 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 if I'm you know that, why don't the Tim Reeds of the world change it? Okay. If you know that, okay. why don't the Tim? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's good. That's good. Okay, stand by. If you know that, why don't the Tim Reeds of the world change it? Roll tape. If you know that, why don't the Tim Reeds of the world change it? We're scared. <laughs> okay, we're not that great at this. Stand by. All right, stand by. Here's the next question. Um, we may not use it, but you just said new delivery system. Stand by. New delivery systems. All right. And then a lot said about problems, talk about solutions. Stand by. So it's just a tad, Gina. Just a tad. Okay, stand by. A lot said about problems, talk about solutions. A lot has been said about problems, talk a bit about solutions. Okay. And then the only other thing, uh, Regina, go ahead. Um, Dean Wickham, just shake your head a little bit, just nod, just in case we can get that. When they do, and the, the person they're interviewing is long, in the car and gone. <laughs> True. Okay. You can always tell on 60 Minutes when that's happening. Okay, yeah. great. <laughs> I mean, at least that should help us. That's on the airplane. You can go on. I work for CBS.